Hello everyone, this is Yonx with Retoken and the Real Estate DAO. We just concluded our core team planning call for week 44 here in 2021 on live stream, and we decided that we're going to take action and move forward with our Coordinate implementation. So bringing over our Coordinate tool that we've got here, or the Coordinate website, Let's go ahead and hop in on this. So let's launch Coordinate. And we're gonna connect the wallet. I'm actually on the retoken and I'm not sure if we need to be on Ethereum or Polygon. We'll, we'll go through the process. Right now I'm on Polygon Matic Network and we'll see if it makes a switch. So we've got the wallet Unsupported. connected. <laughs> yeah, it's Ethereum only. Not not surprised. So I thought I'd, I, I thought I'd test it out there. So uh, Polygon is where we have our social tokens for Retoken, and then our NFT for Token Town Colorado. So let's let's try this again. Oh, it's not that bad. <laughs> well, this wallet isn't associated with a circle. If you are supposed to be part of a circle already, contact your circle's admin to make sure they are added. They added this address or create a new circle. So let's start a circle. So we'll call username retoken. And here on the retoken DAO.eth account, which is associated with this wallet address. So circle name. So I think I posted in your team a couple of circles that I thought that we should start with. And did you did you see that message that I posted, Blurs and Mrs. Yonks? Uh, probably. <laughs> Which one? So let me let yeah. me let me bring it open to the uh, screen share here real quick. So here are the initial circles that I thought we could launch. And let me move. Yeah, this. I like the ones that you mentioned in the uh, in the last meeting, but I don't, I didn't see it written down. Yeah, it's it's in the uh, core team core team chat on Discord, and I've got it open on the uh, screen share here right now. So, core team working groups and ambassador program or ambassadors. Yeah. Okay. Circle name must be at least three characters. I wonder if it has to be circle name, core team, retoken DAO. How can we contact you? Um, <laughs> this looks like just a field, huh? Uh, uh, yeah, I, I, I'm going to take a wild guess that all these data can be updated at some point. Okay. Well, I'll just throw in yeah, a link. Just post it invite link yeah or yeah yep. i'll just do this just the link because i'm sure anybody that would be reading this form knows that that's a discord <laughs> link <laughs> what yeah. do you want to use coordinate for uh retoken rewards oh, well there's that too Retoken rewards distribution how many people will be in the circle estimated number of Contributors, I don't know, let's say... 15? No, it's a bit high. Well, I, I was just going to put eight. I mean, I, I think that's about how many we have now. How much will you contribute or distribute each month? Approximate value in USD. Let's put zero because right now Retoken has no value. And that's by our design. We are road mapping a regulation crowdfunding offering for 2022 quarter three. So we're being intentional and we're going to be even intentional about decreasing some of the retoken supply. So a little CAPTCHA here, bicycle, I hate these things. Launch this circle. And I'm going to get a screenshot here. I 
because this will be a tweet for us here. Not been doing too much tweeting here this week on Retoken. Was out at the National Association of Housing Cooperatives the last couple of days. Just got in last night at like, or this morning, I guess is more accurate. I think it was probably 2 a.m. when I finally got to bed. It was like midnight or 1230 when finally deep lined. Launch this circle. Here we go. Congrats. Yeah, hopefully it's, all, hopefully it's all just signing as opposed to uh, actual contract transactions because that would. I, 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 I know, right? Well, it, it there wasn't any uh, any cost associated with that. So took a screenshot of congrats. You just launched a new circle. Okay, got it. So add a contributor, contributor name. Yonks contributor ETH address. Wait, do you have to add yourself? So I created this blurs with the retoken MetaMask account. So, oh, got it, got it, got it. Yeah. So, so anything that's like regarding the administration use, like, like with the snapshot requires an associated MetaMask. So that's uh, uh, retoken has its own own MetaMask. Are they admin? Can give force opted out? No, no. So and save, sign. So are they admin? And who else wants to be an admin right now? Both of you two? Yeah, Blurs. let's do it. Okay. Add rug the whole thing. Blur's day. You got spreadsheet? I do. I'll, I'm just firing it up in another another window here. The the KYC for retoken, which we we call know your community. Do you hear do you hear Brooke in the background there? Baby Young. Oh yeah. <laughs> can give save sign and then uh, I've got a profile from Mrs. Young where I can easily copy her wallet address here too um, no, I think it's under this one too Um, I guess I'll just sign in real quick. Okay, so Mrs. Yonks wallet address. Add a contributor. Okay, so we've got our core team circle. And I will add the rest of the contributors later that are, and I'll, I'll see if anybody else wants to be an admin um, on this as well. I, I don't, I think the epoch is a time window. And this is one of the things that I have to have a better understanding as far as how this works right now. The main thing that wanting to do, and you, everybody saw how easy that was to do to create our core team circle. So right now, I think I would like to go through and do the other circles. Let's see. Um, hey, babe, how does this work as far as distributing the actual work tokens and what? how does this work mechanically? Well, that, that's something that we're going to have to have a better understanding on. And I, I don't want to scope creep this. Uh, there'll be a couple other videos that I'll put in the, in the coordinate channel um, or thread on uh, what's it called on the, I created a 
coordinate thread in, in Discord. Let me let me find that here real quick. So, well, I'm, that's that's a distraction. So let's go ahead and create the other circle that was talking about over here in, uh, let's see. So working groups. So create circle. It's kind of weird that you need to be create a new username, um, or maybe not. I don't know. Uh, circle name. We'll call this working groups. Read token DAO. It's funny it didn't get my auto populate on that one, but it did on the others. Retoken rewards distribution. And which which one is this working groups? Um, let's put, uh, I don't know, um, 50 people in the circle. Uh, Zero dollars. Boats. So here's another circle. And I'm not going to go through the cycles of adding any of the users here on this right now. Can can do that later. And then the other circle that we were talking about is the ambassadors. So create circle. token rewards distribution um how many people will be in this circle i don't know let's put 100 for right now yeah i i, I suspect the numbers don't really matter and I'm, I'm actually wondering what they do with that it, it might just be a, a data polling point And I'll have to do, because uh, I haven't, well, I'm in Creator DAO and I was having a side conversation with some of the other founding members. So I'm going to, I'm going to be getting added to uh, Creator DAO also is using Coordinate and I'll, I'll put some more information in that, but uh, wanting to garner some more experience from another DAO that's already utilizing this tool. And I'll go through and add both you, Blurs, and Mrs. Yonks here to the uh, contributors and the admins um, for for both of these so that we can figure this out um, on on this. And then like the uh, epochs, I'm a I'm more of a fan of a weekly operating on a weekly basis, uh, but that's something I don't know from an administration standpoint of coordinate if that will make sense. I don't know if most people operate on a monthly basis, and this is something I don't think is locked into stone. So, uh, I mean, yeah. So you can add individual epochs. So we just for an experiment, we could do a week. Um, and then I, I think monthly would probably be better as we going forward, but just start, I think let's just do a week or something and see how it goes. Cause we, we don't know where we, we have to figure out how to do the, the token dis allocation and all that. So we yeah, have a lot of work to figure out. It, it, it is. And I, I, I know that we, when we originally had this conversation, we were, we were concerned about the, uh, the learning curve and stuff like that associated. 
I think learning this will pay dividends as far as really laying a solid foundation that we could potentially grow to thousands or tens of thousands of members in 2022, which would be very, very exciting for all of us. So on, on this, uh, I popped over here to the working groups circle. So, I mean, like the Dow Global Hackathon is one of the things here. And we just had our core team planning call again uh, here for week 44. So do we want to create a week, uh, an epoch here for this next week coming up? Sure. Yeah, let's do it. All right. So. Add epoch. So we're gonna do Monday through Sunday, like the rest of the world. No, uh, well, I don't know about the rest of the world, but I don't think the rest of the world normal, at least here in the U.S., do not really operate on a uh, um, a a weekly time frame. Um, so let's so let's let's do this. Um, seven epoch repeats weekly. Epoch start time. Let's just make it uh, zero, zero, huh? I wonder if you can change the uh, time zone. So start date. That, that's funny that it has some uh let me let me see did, did you see that blurs where it had like the uh it had some additional decimal decimals on the uh time i did i missed that yeah where it's got like huh 50, i i and i don't know if that's just some coders having fun or what but i can't anyway just just my uh cdo there if you will Okay, so here's our first epoch for working groups. Um, I wonder if there's, let, let's see here real quick, my profile, let's see if we can um, change the, go ahead, Tyler. So, sorry, I'm, try, I'm trying to listen and, and the baby. Um, is this going to actually automatically distribute the tokens to whoever's in the group each week once you set it up? Or how, what does this actually, what do these epochs do? Uh, so the epoch is the time surrounding, you know, whatever the time schedule is. So I was just looking here at the profile to see if I could change the default uh, time zone. And this is something that I'll work on getting this profile on coordinate updated to just kind of reflect the uh, branding a little bit. But yeah, the, the purpose of this is to, um, Auto, more automatically, like, and again, th this is something, there's a couple videos. I haven't watched uh, one of them at all, like the coordinate overview video yet. And um, we're putting a little framework in here and this would be a dynamic where like right now we've got the Dow global hackathons and we're wanting to have more working groups coming up. And then, I mean, that's, uh, to provide for anybody that may end up watching this, that's functionally the way that most of the work here in Retoken gets done as far as various projects and different things like that as we have a working group's uh, modality of operation. Uh, and then like the Retoken core team. So activities that would fall under the core team are our core team weekly planning call that we just concluded. We have our weekly community call there. So basically anything infrastructure that recurs on a regular basis, uh, would I would fall from a work activity thing uh, to, to get done. So this is some type of social based mechanism. And, and again, that's something that we can, we can take offline. And I know Blurs has a hard stop coming up here in a couple minutes. So um, let's go back to the um, core team. Let's go ahead and create the, uh, and I don't know if we need to close. Okay, so so we're on the core team. Let's Let's go ahead and add a recurring epoch here for that as well. So 
start this recurring. We'll do this at uh, 12 a.m. as well. And I was trying to see if I could change the uh, time zone from, from UTC. That's that's good enough right now. Okay, we're gonna do we're gonna start with recurring. Yeah, well, I mean, we're we're already kind of operating in a weekly modality basis right now with our like we've got here this weekly treasury distribution proposal. So I think if we could transfer some of like the details of this and get that into our coordinate, I I think would be good. Okay, that, that's fine. I, uh, the only reason I'm saying not is just so we could just give it a, a quick, you know, kick on the tires. Uh, but it, it really doesn't matter because we could change it or edit it any time, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, ab absolutely. And I mean, like like you said, we can, you know, edit the uh, recurring epoch here. So we've got, um, and we can edit the circles. Uh So here, here's some additional text. So we can we can take a look and get more of this stuff. I mean, this is all super, super preliminary. Uh, I do feel good. I mean, it looks like that we've set up with, we've, we've launched Coordinate. I mean, that was a super easy process. Now, actually learning as far as how that works, there'll be a little bit of a learning curve. But I think the sooner that we learn to use this and then that I think again will lay a solid foundation for our ability to scale this up as well. Um, it's kind of interesting that you can't change the uh, epoch name here, so it's got epoch details epoch two. Um, so epoch begins in three hours. I may I may bump this to change to change it to. Um, whatever midnight is on Eastern time, or I don't know, I'll, 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 I'll think about that um, and adjust this. It looks like got uh, a few hours uh, to change the epoch for, for beginning, uh, for beginning or from, from these epochs kicking off. But um, I, I think that we, we, we got uh, retoken down with three, three circles in here on coordinate. So that's a uh, start for us. Um, does anybody want to chime in here before, uh, before we call this a wrap and put a little, like do some additional homework on actually how to use the uh, epochs and the circles that we created? No, I think it's good. Uh, I guess we, I, we uh, um, I, I don't like, do I just go to the, site or what uh, yeah you you should be able to just go to uh coordinate um like like let me let me actually do that since you're asking about it here here's my yonks profile and launch coordinate and then um make sure that i'm on uh, i gotta switch my network and then uh connect the wallet okay it says epoch one will begin in two hours Yeah, and I don't know why that that one says that when it says here. Um... Oh wait, no. <laughs> See, I I did get added to Creator DAO's uh, epoch here, so the uh, core team yeah begins in two hours. So I think that we should adjust that to a later time frame um, that more corresponds to U.S. hours, since we're mostly operating in U.S. hours right now. Uh, and then, of course, we can change things uh, later based upon as we continue to grow and scale more. Um, and looking at the admin, do have all the admin capabilities. So, I mean, it's got a pretty pretty easy to use UI. It's just a matter of uh, doing some allocations here on our stuff. So I'm going to go in and adjust the uh, start time of this to reflect a... Uh, a more corresponding time so that if we need to do anything on Sunday evening to finalize our week, that we can, uh, that we can do that. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm excited about using this new tool and uh, looking forward to putting in more infrastructure that will provide or that should allow the scalability that I think that we can achieve in 2022. Yeah, sorry, sorry. I'm playing. I'm playing with my profile right now. You, you don't um, like you the know, ape with the the red phone there, Blurs? 
I'm trying to get... Does, what is it? Oh, I'm not looking at your screen. Uh, it still shows me as a monkey. I don't like monkeys. <laughs> Um, can that be the next Blur's Day? It still shows me as a monkey, like no context. When there when you're done with Circle Back. <laughs> um, there, it, sh it should be fixed now. You too, girl. You for let, let me uh, refresh here. Oh, yeah, see? Yeah, I, there I, I am. Saw it. Yeah. Fabulous. Alrighty, well, I... I I know that you had to uh, stop here at four central time blurs. Uh, I'm excited about having another, another tool in place that we can. Uh, and I think that it's a good time to, to learn coordinate and uh, yeah. Any, any final thoughts but from, from you, Mrs. Yonks or from you blurs day? Uh, just with uh, respect to the coordinate. LLC. No LLC actually. Okay. Uh, so you, uh, you can do a poll for a community, not a community call, but a working call uh, during the week. My my week is is pure crap with fiat farming, but I might be able to, to jump in or something if I can, um, uh, perhaps in an early evening call or something. But and what, I what, think, what I think do you it's consider be Amy's work? Yeah, and well, I it's it's not I, there's some things that i want to add to this draft as well that i need to do some more research on as far as the elimination of the fiduciary responsibilities that's something that i would really like to see in in place there um and then uh but yeah i'll i'll put some times out when you say early evening what what time do you consider early evening Did I lose you, Blurs? I'm sorry. I was on mute. Uh, I, most days, it's either 5 p.m. or 6 p.m. Uh, Central? Like Mon yeah, but Monday and Thursday are definitely out. Um, okay, cool. Well, we'll, we'll uh, I'll put, I'll put uh, a couple times out there and see if we can get some things uh, on there because this is uh, getting our at least a – a draft that we feel comfortable moving through our voting and proposal process so that we can like say, Hey, here's our operating agreement. Here's some workflow surrounding that. And then uh, that's something that we could then should be able to use to get the uh, bank account opened up. But uh, coming back to yeah, coordinate, I, go ahead. Oh, I'm just, gonna, uh, I, I probably won't be able to contribute much because it's kind of foreign to me, but I am kind of really curious about it. So I, I'm just more, more selfishly want to learn. <laughs> no, and I, I'm I I feel the same way. I mean, I've had those those same same conversations in some uh, some other DAOs where I'm kind of looking to see what they're doing too. But um, super excited about the uh, coordinate here. This has been a uh, a burden on me, like that we still haven't even gotten caught up here for our token town. And that's what a lot of these tasks to earn where we've got some red dates here and just doing the uh, distribution from our 11 working groups where we put uh, where we functionally built our submissions for the American made solar prize. So I'm, I'm looking forward to learning uh, coordinate and how that we can leverage that to, again, build a scalable framework to really grow a solid community here at Retoken. All righty. Well, have a good rest of your Sunday, Blur's Day. I, I think Mrs. Yonk stepped away, so uh, I would tell her thank you, but I will always tell uh, her no, thank you. Uh, <laughs> no, well, I'm thank, thank you for being I here, am, babe. Um, I'm, I'm here. I'm on the go. I'm doing all the things, so let's coordinate our lives. <laughs> I, I know, right? All righty. Well, thanks everybody. We'll, we'll, these are just the preliminary conversations on coordinate, but it was very easy to get that set up now, figuring out again, how to allocate and reward. That's what we'll be uh, figuring out. Uh, but we got a little bit going. All righty. Have a good one. All right. See you.